Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to create or generate a privacy policy or terms and conditions form for a Shopify online store for our customers from scratch using the built-in native uh, tools and generator uh, made by Shopify themselves. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple. And the first thing that you guys need to do is you want to make sure that you're logged into your Shopify account as an administrator like I have here. So here's what my dashboard looks like. And the idea here is we would need to get access to Shopify tools. And the easiest way to get there really is um, you just want to click on the search bar at the top of the dashboard, just like so, and just simply type tools. So here we are. And from here, we're going to click on Explore Tools. And this is basically going to open up a new window, taking us to shopify.com slash tools. Now, what we're looking for here is a generator for um, terms and conditions, or I should say uh, the privacy policy. So you basically want to look for um, one that fits the bill. So it's this one right here, privacy policy generator. So we're going to click on it like so. And it's going to take us to this page right here, where it says, if you're not a lawyer, creating a privacy policy to protect your company and customers can be a serious headache, blah, blah, blah. Our free privacy policy generator can help your business get started. So this is all to um, protect them from copyright and so on. And basically add that um, extra layer of security to your business. So from here, you basically, you just want to follow the on-screen instructions. So what we're going to do, is um, enter the uh, information or the details uh, that pertain to our business um, inside the boxes. So you wanna make sure that all of them are corresponding. So the company name, email address, the physical address of our store, if um, we actually have one, the city, zip or postal code, country and region and state. And then lastly, we're going to include our website, should we have one. So in this case, um, my store name would be, or my store URL or domain would be this one, as you guys can see. So we're going normally going to paste it there. But the most important uh, detail that we don't want to leave out is our email address. Because what's going to happen is uh, it's actually going to send the, the privacy policy to our email, wh where we would then copy the text from there. So we would copy the text from the email, go back to our dashboard for Shopify, and click on this little button right here, online store, and select pages from uh, the drop down. And we're going to add a new page. So you can do that by clicking on the uh, button at the top right corner of the screen that says add page. Then we're going to give it the name. In this case, it's going to be our privacy policy form. So just type down privacy policy, just like that. And simply paste the text here. So what's going to happen is when we hit save, um, we can add some functions to it like redirect. So let's say that someone um, <clears throat> needs to make a purchase from our store. So to make them liable for um, anything that may, uh, that may go wrong on their end, uh, they need to agree to the terms and conditions and it'll be in the form of a box, just like um, much like with other um, uh, terms and conditions, um, uh, forms that you agree to. So you can add redirects here, or you can add it at the very bottom of the checkout page. It's really up to you guys. So once you've made your changes, hit save and you guys should be done. And yeah, that's all there's to it. So thank you guys for watching the video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.